And finally, another in our occasional series called My Music, where singers and musicians talk about their work, their influences, and the art of their craft. If you haven't already heard of her, let's introduce Margot Price. She's up for a Grammy for Best New Artist next month. The 35-year-old country musician is making waves with songs about the beauty and struggles of rural America and about her own issues with alcohol, loss, and trying to make it in Nashville. She's also been outspoken on issues of gender equality and gun control. Price sat down with the NewsHour recently at Washington, D.C.'s 930 Club. Here's a listen. When I first moved to Nashville, I didn't really have a lot of life experiences. And um, the kind of country music that I like has always been about the struggle and the, um, the darker sides of things, and divorce and drinking and, uh, and the, the sad side of life. So I don't know, eventually, um, that's what my life became, <laughs> for better or worse. Margo Price, and I'm a singer songwriter living in Nashville, Tennessee. My first album, Midwest Farmer's Daughter, was kind of an honest glimpse of everything that had happened since I'd moved to Nashville. Um, just struggling in the music business and drinking too much and running around with uh, being the wrong type of people. I just was pretty unafraid to talk about my struggles at the, you know, at, at that point, and um, I wasn't afraid to be self-deprecating and um, honest about my hardships. And I think uh, people love an underdog. <laughs> I wrote the second album kind of when, you know, when we were on the road touring Midwest Farmer's Daughter and we were seeing a lot of America and, um, you know, I definitely had done a good amount of um, introspective writing about myself and so we thought it was a good idea to kind of look at what was going on in our country. And it's all wanted to show, um, you know, working class America. We wanted to show the everyday people who are really, you know, making this country run and and many times they're they're struggling. Something in my bloodline or something in my gut. Oddly enough, we wrote that song um, during the Obama administration and we recorded it prior to the election and, but you know, they were campaigning at that time. And I was already starting to see a lot of uh, division. I think definitely the song had new meaning um, post-election. And um, you know, I've, I've changed some of the lyrics when we do it live. that we can preserve what we have here and, and keep our country beautiful. Baby, and it stretches out of sight And it's all, all American me Yeah, it's all, all American me Lovely.